Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. It is that time of the month, the third Sunday of the month, where we will do a Doodlebug collab. I am using the newest Doodlebug collection called Over the Rainbow. I brought in the 6x6 paper pad, stickers, ephemeras. I also brought in my favorite dies from Stampin' Up, the basic circles and the oval dies. There you just saw me show you what the embossing folder looks like on the paper. I did emboss all of my card bases with the Swiss Dots embossing folder from Cuddlebug. It is a very, very old embossing folder that I've had for, I want to say almost 15 years. And um, right now I'm a bit obsessed with embossing folders. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm finding like a new love for them. And I just recently purchased maybe three or four new embossing folders and I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. Hoping to do a haul video for you guys soon. I don't normally post a lot of haul videos, but I was like, you know what? Why not share it? Because it's been a while since I shared a haul video for you guys also in the beginning you might have seen me share with you the stickers i was going to use which are the mini icon stickers and the puffy stickers as well as the regular icon stickers i only ended up using the icon stickers i thought i was going to use the puffy stickers and the mini stickers but I ended up not using those. I will probably later on come back to the set of cards and uh, use the mini icons to decorate the inside of my cards because I feel like those uh, stickers are the perfect size to decorate the inside of my cards. And also I want to mention for this card right here, um, the... I didn't have a long enough strip, but I had like the perfect size to just hide behind that rectangle pattern paper that you see there. So I did a little, I guess, I don't know, like, like a paper magic. I don't know what you call it, but, um, you can't tell that it's just, it's two pieces. So, um, it worked out in my favor. I also picked up sketches from, uh, paper play sketches. If you're interested in seeing those sketches, you can go to my blog post, which I will have linked down below. And of course, I will link to the supplies I used. Um, those that are available, I will have a link to some. Some are retired, like for example, the um, cardstock I'm using, they're from Close to My Heart. And these are called Willow, which is the green one. And the yellow cardstock is called Canary. I'm trying to use up a lot of my um, close to my heart uh, cardstock that I have a lot of. And so, um, yeah, it feels really good to use a lot of my stuff. I'm looking at my colored cardstock in my stash and I'm noticing that they are like thinning down, which is like, like I'm so happy because um, I was, I was really trying or I'm trying really hard not to purchase it, a lot of paper because you know I'm a paper addict you guys know that but um I'm noticing like my stash like going down like I am so happy so um I hope I keep that up and um yeah I think also like ever since I started doing Saturday morning makes like sharing my projects with you guys I've been more uh motivated to craft because, you know, not everything gets recorded. So it's like, now that I can share with you stuff that happens behind the scenes, um, I use more of this stuff I have. I hope that makes sense. Um, so, okay, so I want to talk about the collab. If you want to join in on the Doodlebug collab, it's always on the third Sunday of each month. We are going to use Doodlebug Feb. So this month it's hashtag Doodlebug, Doodlebug Feb. So if you want to see all the participants who are joining this month, you can click on that hashtag and see who joins you can also join through your social media like your instagram or your facebook you can post pictures you don't have to make a video not everybody you know has time or can make videos so 
you can do a project share, you can do shorts, you can do, you know, just share it. Um, and the way, you know, we can find you is through that hashtag doodlebug feb. So I'm really looking forward to seeing who joins and to those who are new and you want to join just, you know, I'll have all that information below as well as on my blog. Also next week, which is the fourth Sunday of the month, we will have a Shop Your Stash um, collab as well. You are more than welcome to join and all you have to do is use hashtag Shop Your Stash or hashtag Use Your Stash. I will also have all that info linked below. I mean, all that info in the description below. And all you have to do is just use anything from your stash. You don't have to make 10 cards or anything like that. You just have to create any projects, any projects that you want to make that um, involves using your stash. Um, also, Doodlebug, the Doodlebug, you don't have to make 10 cards either. You can make any projects you want as long as it's Doodlebug. All right. So back to the cards. Um, I, I embossed all of my card bases with the embossing folder. I tried something uh, different here where I didn't want to put a whole pattern paper on my card base. So if you notice, there's a lot of white space. That's because I really wanted the uh, embossing folder to uh, show because usually I'll cut my pattern paper like four by five and a quarter and then mat it. But this time you know, since I've been kind of obsessed, okay, not kind of, a lot obsessed lately with embossing folders, um, I just want to, you know, show it off. Also, like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, Kendra's card challenge. I'm actually going to do that. I did it last year, but I didn't get a chance to post my video for it. I did do a share for Saturday morning makes for it. And I was really happy with how my cards turned out. Like I find her sketches to be really fun. Now, if you haven't heard of Kendra, I will link to her uh, challenge for this quarter. So if you wanna join in, you can watch that video to find out how and you can download the sketches that she made for it. Um, her sketches are very detailed. She'll tell you how many papers you need, how to cut it exactly. Um, for this sketch, you need like six pattern papers, six by six pattern papers, and you can make 18 cards. I mean, I'm sorry, you'll make 15 cards out of that, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend it. It's really fun and a big stress reliever if you're like, you know, just want to craft away with no thinking involved. This one is really uh, a good um, and fun way to uh, make cards. All right. I also want to mention that since I embossed my card bases here, it's really hard for my uh, paper to stick down to it. Like, do not use a tape runner. It's for sure going to come off. Um, that's why I'm using glue. But even with my Barely Art glue, it was still um, coming up. Um, so I had to hold it down. If you notice me, like, holding down the paper or, like, gluing the corners like you see me doing there, that's because it kept uh, popping up. So I had to keep... Uh, going back and gluing things down and um, yeah just a warning um, I normally don't have this type of problem I'm thinking because it's like such such a raised uh, dot I think that's why it was having a tough time sticking down but i um, looking at it right now um, so far so good like nothing's popping off um, but yeah just in case <laughs> all right so i am curious to know how many of you like gnomes i know a couple people who do not like gnomes um they don't find it cute um i do think 
some gnomes are cute and some gnomes are just not cute <laughs> i mean doodlebug did a great job with these gnomes um i think the girl gnomes are cuter than the boy gnomes i particularly don't care for garden gnomes uh, but i'm just curious to know but i do love jamie from not too shabby the gnomes that she comes out with i like those gnomes where the eyes are covered and the nose is like big and stuff like that but for some reason when i see like boy gnomes in particular with their eyes i don't know i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> it's weird right you guys um but um i haven't really seen a lot of girl gnomes like garden gnomes only boy gnomes but for this one right here, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, I actually like the fact that Doodlebug combined spring and St. Patrick's Day in this one collection because it's versatile. And I also like the fact that I can scrapbook St. Patrick's Day with uh, this paper and ephemera. Uh, the chit chat stickers where it comes with sentiments, it comes with birthday, it comes with generic sentiments like hello sunshine or you make my heart happy or something like that and it also comes with like st patrick's day greetings but not too much of that maybe just two two of them but it does have a lot of like birthday sentiments and generic sentiments so i did choose sentiments that are uh generic for card making and then i saved the more specific ones for my scrapbooking purposes I also want to mention that when I make my cards with six by six paper pads, since it's since it comes with 24, I'll pick like half of it, like 12 of the pattern papers. That way I can make two of each of the cards that I make. Um, just a fun fact, just in case you guys uh, make the cards that I do make here. I actually didn't use the cut aparts from the 12 pattern papers. So you'll have all the cut aparts left. I probably only used one of the cut apart sent sentiments. So just, just in case you guys follow or try to make what I make, uh, you'll have a f half of your paper pad left. Um, that's what I always try to do because, uh, I like to get the most out of my paper pad if I can. All right, so we're on the last card. And around this time, I was already getting frustrated with um, gluing down the paper on my card base here because it keeps popping up to the point that I didn't realize that it's off-centered. Can you guys see it? <laughs> Can you see the strip popping up? I will go back to that and um, push it down like you see me doing there. It was a bit frustrating because I had to do that with a lot of my cards. But in the end, I'm really pleased with how all of these cards turned out. Um, it's really helpful for me to craft with sketches. I particularly like photo play sketches because I like how they place the pattern papers. I don't know. It just looks really well-rounded to me. So that's one of my favorite um, card sketches like to go to to search. So this one right here, my mom likes this card. She took this card and she also took the the well card where you saw the well. And um, yeah, I always have her pick out cards when I whenever I make like 10 card videos, she'll pick one or two of them. But that's it, you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Let me know if you have a favorite. I love reading all of your comments. And I hope you guys will join us on our Doodlebug collab either this month or next month or in the future. I hope that our Doodlebug community grows. You know, I love seeing Doodlebug on YouTube, like anything Doodlebug. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.